This is getting out of control. I did not expect to still be playing. I did not expect to be this frustrated. How? I did not expect... I just don't care. ...to be on the verge of quitting. Hi there and welcome to Platinum Journey, where I document the highs and lows of trying to get a Platinum Trophy in some brilliant games. I say trying because with Metal Gear Solid 2 there are no guarantees. Okay, so five playthroughs, five hour long side missions, 350 VR missions, 150 alternative missions. What is required for the Platinum is staggering. Let's look at the trophies in a bit more detail. I played MGS2 for the first time five years ago and picked up some unmissable story related trophies. So my starting point is 16 out of the 36 bronze, none of the five silver and one of the four gold. Four of the remaining bronze trophies are for collecting dog tags and unlocking items. Another four for defeating enemies in different ways, and a bunch of miscellaneous stuff like putting an enemy in a locker. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? The silver trophies are for completing all Snake Tales, the side missions with Solid Snake, collecting all boxes, completing a boss survival run, placing first in 50 VR or alternative missions, and taking a clear photograph of the ghost image in hold number two. I wonder who that could be. The remaining gold trophies are for clearing the game without entering alert mode, not including events where alert mode is mandatory, collecting all dog tags in the plant chapter. This means all the dog tags in very easy, easy, normal, hard, and extreme. Finally, completing all VR and alternative missions. My plan of action is to start the game on very easy. Help me get back into the swing of things. Collect all dog tags, work on killing enemies in certain ways over the many subsequent playthroughs. Intersperse my playthroughs with VR missions, snake tails and the boss run. Aim to have most of the VR and alternative missions finished after my fifth playthrough, to ease the eventual grind. Okay, Metal Gear Solid 2. Here we go. The Hudson River, two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of Metal Gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. The first of five playthroughs. This one on very easy. Relearning the controls, holding up enemies, taking a break to do a handful of VR missions, finishing the tanker section with Snake, and starting the plant section with Raiden. This game has got to be messing with me. This is the most intrusive tutorial. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. I've just played a snake for an hour and a half. 
<laughs> I, I, I remember this sort of ties into the, the overall story of the game, but I can't remember why. The memories are a bit foggy. I'm saying this is Raiden's training, but you as a player are also Raiden. So the game is kind of talking down to you like it talks down to Raiden. You wanted to be the super soldier, right? You wanted to be Snake. But you're not. I don't know. I might be messing stuff up. Hand-holding aside, I continue with my mission of stopping terrorists, meeting a familiar face along the way. The story of Metal Gear Solid 2 twists and turns with a cast of colourful characters. There's high-level conspiracy and a bizarre but perhaps brilliant fourth wall breaking final act. Your role, that is mission, is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. It all culminates in a showdown with Solidus Snake atop a Manhattan building. Who am I really? No one quite knows who or what they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. More VR missions, including finishing first in 50 of them. Now, my easy playthrough. Picking up a few handy trophies, like defeating an enemy with steam from a pipe, getting my grip to level 3, snapping a picture of Kojima himself, destroying enemy radios and beating the story in a reasonable five and a half hours. Unlocked the brown wig for the plant section due to collecting 73 dog tags over two playthroughs. It gives Raiden infinite ammo when equipped. Back around again on normal. More items unlocked from collecting dog tags. The bandana gives Snake infinite ammo. Stealth allows Raiden to be invisible. That old stealth camo seems like a cheat code, but I ain't complaining. However, I don't have all the dog tags in the tanker section with Snake. So, I'm gonna have to load this up. Blast through the tanker section, collect I don't know, but five or six dog tags, nice and handy. Nothing too crazy. And then I can dive into the hard playthrough with the stealth camels for both, Sna for both Snake and Raiden. And hopefully not get spotted the whole time. I, I'm so looking. It's great when a game gives you a reward for, hey, we know you've played the game a bunch. In this case, three playthroughs. <laughs> Here's a stealth camo just to fool around and have a bit of fun. It's just, I like the game to do that. And I got Please. you. Hopefully you're not. You need everyone right just to be seen. Final dog tag acquired. Tanker section done. 41 minutes, not too shabby. Playthrough number four. My main objective is to get through the game without alerting any enemy. Oh yeah, for every third playthrough, Snake and Raiden will wear slick sunglasses. So I did a playthrough five years ago, just did another three for the Platinum, then did a quick run through the tanker, so the game registers this as my sixth time selecting new game. Hence, Cool Snake. (laughs) 
<laughs> like, because the snake has the glasses. They're just, you know, hovering along. Same as his, uh, his magazine, his gun clips. As you might imagine, getting through the tanker using the stealth item is simple. Taking a break from the main game, I do the boss run. I'm not looking to make this even more difficult, so easy it is. I'm almost two thirds the way in. All of riding done, all of ninja riding, X riding, and then there's still, I think, Tuxedo Snake and MGS1 Snake, and MGS1 Snake is going to be really bloody hard. I can't get by this snake. <sighs> Meryl's on the floor, keep the folks off her. Take all the pent. Ah, oh, damn it. The controls in the sniper rifle are dog shit. The acceleration is just insane. It's like, you want to just go a little bit? Pew! This is what makes the mission so damn hard. If you had decent controls. Ah, good workman never blames his tools. But I don't know. I don't know. Keep going. My hands get so damn sweaty doing this part as well. I can't handle the stress. Anything with a timer and objects to hit from afar, it's not, I just, I, I hate the stress. So much in fact that after a couple more attempts, two of the fucking... I switch back to the main game and finish my hard playthrough. Hopefully I get the trophy for 100% stealthing it, because otherwise I'm going to have to do yet another playthrough. The end of, I don't know, at some point. Nice. Aha! Got the wig. That means I got all the dog tags as well. It's the orange wig, which I believe means, or it gives me infinite uh, grip strength. Snake tails, still to do. Extreme playthrough and the remaining VR missions. Still at a sticking point with those VR missions. Just gonna leave. I've done two thirds of them. I'm just leaving the rest till the end and just power through. Let's cross Snake Tails off the list. <sighs> On to extreme. I will be fully using the stealth suit and the infinite ammo wig, the brown wig. But some purists might say, hey, that's taking the easy way out. But I worked damn hard to get that stealth suit and that brown wig collecting hundreds upon hundreds of dog tags, so I'm absolutely going to use them. Besides, I still have to hold up 50 plus enemies. <laughs> Regarding the bosses on Extreme, each presents a sturdy challenge and possible interesting ways of defeating them. Fortune, for example, will obliterate all available cover rapidly. Dodging her attacks in the open is the only way I found possible to survive. Timing needs to be precise for what feels like an eternity, and just two hits means game over. So here's a strange way of doing it. Equip the box, run one way, the moment her attack is finished, switch direction. Rinse and repeat. Get into the gentle rhythm despite the mayhem. Fat man! The first set of bombs must be defused, but then use the infinite ammo brown wig to keep the big man on his large derriere. No additional bombs, no trouble. 
No! The Harrier. Pattern recognition is key. Learn when to attack and more importantly, when to hide. He is a pain and it can feel like ages between opportunities to inflict damage, but with some nerves of steel, it is doable. Vamp. Infuriating. Unless you know about the Nikita missile launcher being king. Even when he is invincible to regular bullets, this still sends him flying. Find a quiet spot, wait for him to strut his stuff. So certain parts of this game hold up. Uh, the gameplay certainly holds up, the stealth, the holding up guards, the controls, the movement, the boss fights, they all hold up. What does not hold up? <laughs> this entire section with Emma. The hand-holding, the escort missions. Thankfully, escort missions are a thing of a past. For a while, every game seemed to have some shoehorned-in escort mission. Where, hey, you're a badass super soldier, but look after this completely helpless individual. The only escort mission game which I've played, or escort mission, Eco, was what I'm trying to say. Eco works because the game is based around it, whereas this is shoehorned in. And it feels like I'm taking Granny out for a walk. Oh, come on, Granny. Come on, everything that is terrible all into one. An escort mission and a terrible underwater section with janky controls. Oh, come on, you piece of shit. Oh, God. Like, there's no way you can design this part of the game and go, yeah, job done. That's good. Well, at least this is the very last time I'm going to have to do this. That's something to be thankful for. Done. And of course, Emma also has the sniping section where you gotta keep her safe. Another terrible part of the game. At a certain point, you're wondering is the game deliberately making you dislike Emma? Because of all the terrible game design decisions. Hey, escort mission. Hey, sniping section with the janky controls. Hey, underwater section with also janky controls. Are you meant to dislike Emma and she's meant to be a pain? I don't know. Am I giving the game too much credit? Speaking of the sniping section, this is a long and arduous sequence. Not a fan. Okay, the Metal Gear Rays. There's a bunch of different strategies for this. I'm gonna go with sort of a high risk, high reward strategy. Here it comes. Yeah, I'm not gonna get greedy. I'm just gonna wait for them to come to me. Gotta be careful when he gets onto the platform to be moving. War of attrition, folks. Each attempt is about 10 minutes long. fight just keeps going. <sighs> On a razor's edge for I don't know how long that was, a while. Ooh. Just facing Solidus and then I finished Extreme. Solidus can be tricky due to his projectiles, but getting in close negates them. Good 
stuff, good stuff. Into the second phase, no more rockets. Just keep my guard up and I should be okay. Come on, you bastard. <laughs> Not much health. I was trying to, you know, duck down, recover a bit, get back up. Oh boy. So close. Dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. I beat extreme. <laughs> New item. Just the VR missions are left. Just, just the VR missions. Time to focus. Yeah, just the VR missions. Straightforward stuff. So obviously I smack all those. The antidepressants, lovely. Benzodiazepine. So benzos. Uh, don't do that in real life. Apparently they're highly addictive. And I'm after hocking five of them, so that's great. Got to 18. Not bad. <laughs> you sneaky bastard. Got me. Something has started to click for me. There's 26 soldiers. They have a set pattern. If I can memorize the pattern, then I can anticipate where they're going to be. I will appear here. So I'm coming down the stairs here. Tell you what, this is an awful lot more calming. Hold on. Just a couple more. Didn't even feel stressed on that last one. Felt in control, comfortable. This is good. This is really good. Because later on I'm going to have to do one of these again. Except instead of 26 enemies, I think it's 31 or 32. But knowing I can do this means I can apply the same strategy to the one later on. It might be a bit more difficult, but I should be... I, I have a chance. I have a chance and that's all I want. The hours burn away, mission after mission, some short, some long. 96% Come on, I'm so tired of this, I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of this. Ow! The grind continues.
Jones. <gasps> Alternative missions, all of them done. Done, done, done. Just variety mode between me and the Platinum. And it starts with a wallop. Focus, 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 focus. Slow and steady, slow and steady. Don't panic. Is that it? Great. <laughs> The second to last mission is taking out all enemies in the dark. Annoying, but doable. This is it. After all I've gone through, just one final mission. A four stage survival run. If I die at any point, I restart from the beginning. This is also going to suck. Ready? Go! Oh, where'd you come from? Now against the soldiers, this is a fun one. Boom, boom, boom. Oh! Do the whole thing again. I can't believe I'm so close to the end and I'm stuck again. I'm so fucked. Come on! Okay, last one. <sighs> oh, folks, 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 folks. Okay, final feckin' thing. I'm aiming for a flying object, which if destroyed will quickly end this fight. Oh shit, okay. Plan A didn't work. No, 
you fuck, I cannot die here. this in me. Let's go again. His first attack missed while I was lying on the ground. In a split second decision, I thought his second one would miss too. I was ready for the VR missions to be over 20 hours ago. My brain feels like mush. Folks, this is getting ridiculous. The mental effort to get back to that behemoth is enormous. But eventually, I do. Come on. Calm. Gotta be calm. Gotta be calm. There's rhythm, there's pattern. Folks, it's actually done. Snake Tales, done. VR missions, done. Alternate missions, done. Five playthroughs, done. Never again. <laughs> Never again. Life isn't just about passing on your genes. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature and movies, what we've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. <laughs>